Jim Gores of Reddit, what is something, protocol, etiquette, tips, etc., that New Year resolutioners should know about the gym. For the love of God, put weights back where you found them. If you're strong enough to lift them in the first place, you're strong enough to put them back. Edit, thanks for doubling my upvotes, as many of you have said, this applies to all equipment, not just weights, and if something is obviously in the wrong place when you use it, find the right spot to put it back. Have a happy new year all smile. Don't start big just because your friends or everyone else is lifting big. Start small. It'll be easier to maintain the routine and there is a much smaller chance you'll injure yourself. The really huge intimidating looking guy squatting half the plates in the gym is probably pretty friendly and the most likely guy to help you out and offer you good advice. Nobody is staring at you, and nobody cares that you are fat or ugly or out of shape. Do your routine with confidence. Don't hog the weights the most annoying thing someone can do is hog all the freaking weights and dumbbells and refuse to let others use them. Actually read how to use the equipment. You get fit in the gym, you lose weight in the kitchen. Best advice I received for the insecure, do you have a hobby? Do you get excited when you see someone is interested in that hobby? Do you like to talk about your hobby and share information about it with people who know less than you? Or even a small amount of pride seeing someone new to your hobby? So you see that really swole dude that intimidates you so much? This is his hobby. He's probably super stoked about it. Edit, this may not necessarily mean go up and talk to everyone at the gym, but definitely that people probably aren't as mean and unapproachable as you may think. Standard rules still apply. Don't just walk up to someone with headphones on or shoulder tap someone mid-lift. Ignore everyone else. Leave no trace that you were ever there. Get some headphones. The best workout plan is the one you can stick to. There is no best exercise or best workout. Pick one that you think you'll enjoy and stick with it. For the first year 18 months, don't worry about the numbers, focus on your form. Bicep curling 10 kg dumbbells with perfect form is much more useful than wildly swinging a 45 kg dumbbell around. Nobody cares what you look like at the gym. You shouldn't be discouraged by feelings that people are going to judge you for being too fat in at the gym. The entire purpose of the place is to build a healthier body. If anything I always looked up to the really out of shape people who would come in and work out hard. It's incredibly motivating to see. Besides that, even if someone does judge you for being fat or skinny at the gym, their opinion probably isn't worth much if that's how they think. One thing. If you are unsure how to do an exercise correctly, for the love of God ask. Most people are friendly and will help. 1. Re-rack your weights. 2. Don't leave your weights on the bar. 3. After you are finished, return the weights. Remember that before you can get into heaven you have to do a single squat under all the weight you left racked like a dickhead. Wipe down the equipment when you are done. Don't lift in front of the DB racks. Move back 2 meters. Put your weights back. Wear deodorant. All rules can be summarized by don't be a cunt. That's literally it. Also. Nobody cares about you so don't go in there without any confidence, everyone is so concerned about themselves and their own routine that you don't even figure, so don't sweat the pressure. Deodorant. Use it when you go to the gym. Please. I'm currently healing from a bacterial infection on my face, so I just want to emphasize, gyms are filthy. Never forget that. Do not scratch yourself I scratched an itchy nose while doing cardio and am now dealing with a great big pus oozing monstrosity on my face for it. Scratching removes top layers of skin, which can allow bacteria deeper than they would otherwise get and so leads to an unpleasant infection. Just. Always keep in kind that your gym, no matter how diligent the staff, 
will be disgustingly filthy just as a result of being somewhere that the general public gets sweaty and gross on a regular basis. Wipe your machine down after use plus ideally with antibacterial wipes, if your gym supplies them. Don't sit stand on equipment taking calls, texting or taking endless photos of yourself, workout. Rest in between reps then get out of the way. Don't hit on people while you're there, especially if they're in the middle of doing something. If you really want to talk to them either wait until they've finished or just hand them your phone number don't interrupt a PT if they're with a client. As above wait until they're done or quickly ask for a business card in between sets don't be afraid to ask for help using the equipment, just try and ask the right person. Most gyms will have staff around but if they don't ask the muscle people for weight help ask the tall skinny people for help with the cardio equipment do not lift weights for vanity. Don't load the bar with 200 plus kg if you've not lifted before, you will just hurt yourself. Go lower weight and get your form right then increase weight slowly over time finally don't worry about what you think you look like. Honestly no one cares that you're breathing hard and sweating like a horse. We're all there to work out. We all sweat, I'm dripping halfway through a good workout, the Instagram pictures of these skinny girls with full face of makeup looking fresh as daisies are lies. No one looks like that if they're doing it properly. For the love of God. Do not do your workout in front of the dumbbell rack. Please take your weights somewhere else so others can grab the weights they need smile at it, spelling error. The absolute best tip is to just go. I'm afraid to bench press or do squats with heavier weight. I know I should have someone spot me in case of failure. But I always go to the gym alone and I'm a shy person. I can't always ask the gym staff to spot for me because they're not always there. Is it acceptable to ask other people in the gym to spot me? Don't interrupt my PT for a chat during my session. I'm paying a $1.50 a minute here for them to count for me. Deodorant is your friend. No one wants to sit in your sweat puddle. Clean it up. If something is broken or they're out of sanitizer, use your big person voice and tell the staff. Really? Deodorant is your friend. If you are made uncomfortable by anyone in the gym, let the staff know. No tips, but thank you for inspiring me to think of the word protocol. Put your weights away. 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 I can deal with anything else new people do but not re-racking your shit will make all the regulars ducking hate you. Aimed at guys, please remember that 90% plus of women who go to the gym are there to work out, they aren't there looking to get picked up. If you are having to interrupt someone's workout and asking them to remove headphones so you can try to chat them up, it's probably not going to end well for you. Hashtag squat racks are for squatting not curls. Do not do curls, rows, or shrugs right in front of, on or even on, the dumbbell rack. That's a thoroughfare and people are trying to get to the equipment they want to use without your dumbass standing in the way. Bring a goddamn towel. No one cares you if you're just working out minding your own business. If you're fat. No one cares unless you have poor body odor. If you're skinny, no cares if you're only curling 4 kilograms. Don't hurt yourself going straight to tens if you can't. If doing compound exercise, practice in perfect form. Before every workout warm up with just the bar, this applies even months later when you feel more confident. People are going to give a shit, if you don't follow these put your weights back. Wear clean clothes and deo. Hog more than one piece of equipment, especially when it's kinda busy. Not play loud music. Ask people before taking equipment away. A lot of gyms offer complimentary training sessions when you sign up for a new membership. Take them up on their offer. Their trainer can show you how to use the equipment and give you a how to work out tutorial. My gym offered three free training sessions, 
The first one I used as a how-to and the next two were intense workouts to see if I wanted to keep using a trainer. Please don't use the weightlifting benches as a place to put your stuff while you work out. There aren't usually many benches in a gym, and it grinds my gears when I see people using the benches to hold their water bottle skis while its phones while they do routines that never once have them use the bench.